Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a mosaic such as the one shown here. I did see one on YouTube by Sid's Art which was an excellent video and that inspired this one. Anyway first a little bit about the tweak tool. So if I create a square with the rectangles tool control shift to drag from the inside out and I give it a white fill. It's important to give it a fill and white uh, because it's easily drawn over with other colours later as you'll see. With that selected, I'm just going to go to the spray tool. You can change the settings, but I just want a few squares quickly. So I'll do that. So I've got a whole lot of squares with white fill. Now if I select them, you must have the objects you want to do this to selected. And then under the tweak tool, you can actually set it to paint colours with varying degrees of pressure. This icon here, I'll leave these settings as they are. Current colour is uh, blue, you can change that just by clicking down here. But if I just drag over, you can see if I slow down or hover over it for longer, it goes or back and forwards, it goes darker. And you can get different degrees of blue. So that's an interesting effect from the tweak tool. It doesn't just change shapes, it can actually change colours of shapes to varying degrees. Now I'm going to go to a rectangle tool again and draw a bigger one that will be the backdrop for our mosaic. Again, give it a white fill. Control D to du duplicate. I'll take the fill out of the duplicate that's on top. Under extensions I'll go generate from path Voronoi pattern. I'll stick with these settings. These are the ones I used in practice. A live preview if you like. It takes a little bit of time to generate. And there are hidden points in the cells that will appear shortly. And uh, the diagram is generated based on the fact that a point is um, anywhere in a region is closer to a particular point than another region's point. It's a little bit uh, difficult to explain but uh, you can have a look on YouTube if you want more information on Voronoi patterns. I'll just uh, click in there, try and force it to work. It's not working with the apply preview. I'll just go apply and close and see if that works. Now I've got a memory problem. There we go, it's finally uh, worked. I'll just try it a second time. I'll apply and close. They're a fascinating uh, diagram in their own right. Now with that selected, I'm going to go Object, Pattern, Pattern to Objects. Then under Path, I'll go Path and Combine. Yep. Now I'm going to drag around both so that it selects the underlying rectangle as well and those objects will divide the rectangle. If I go path division and you can see there we have it. Now if that's selected I can leave the rectangle underneath. I can go back to the tweak. Oh sorry I said with that selected and then deselected it. I'll select it all. Make sure it's selected and then the tweak tool and let's uh, use the blue and I can drag over there and change the colour to red and do that and you see it gets purple, it combines colours perhaps yellow get a bit slower on some we'll back over a couple uh, maybe a green drag over there and see the different uh, degrees of green depending on how long you over, hover over something. Uh, try a bit of pink. Now it's uh, sort of going over on top of objects. A bit more red. You can get uh, a bit too carried away I guess but uh, I think you get the idea. Back to some blue maybe. It's just dark. If you keep going forever I guess you get a murky grey. That's an interesting way of doing a mosaic uh, using the technique inspired by the SIDS art uh, video. I think I'll leave it uh, there and as always thanks for watching.